Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone and welcome in this video where we will review the trade of last week. We are the 9th of November 2019. So let's unzip the profile of last week and now let's check the trade on MT4. Okay, so let's start with USD. USD, USD. So we are on USD CAD. Forward chart, so the two period separator. Talk about the week. What happened? And we have this specific pin bar, but didn't touch the level. So I didn't take it, but this one was a winning trade. And when the price reversed just before the level, I advise you don't take it anyway. And after I didn't make any pattern at the level. So no trade here. And this should have been a trade uh, taking as a breakout trade when it would have been break broken. And it hasn't been broken with making a pattern on the other side. So we don't have a trade on USD can. USD GPY. No trade. USDCHF, same. USD Singapore. No trade, didn't touch the level. USD ZAR. We have a trade. So let's check. We have an angle thing right here. And after you have a pin bar. So the retracement of the pin bar right here has been stopped out. So this is a losing trade. And after that, <coughs> add the 800 EMA we have a railroad track right here I will not count it but you could have entered as a retracement on the railroad track right here and this one f around 50 pip stop loss and it made 150 so it's a winning trade I don't count it but I just show you since the 800 EMA is very powerful on my chart so still not no trade on USD Sec GPY no trade USD Polonia what do we have we have one losing trade right here broken up and after didn't touch exactly the level with a pattern we have a doji right now but didn't broke down so no trade so only one loss for this one okay so USD DKK what do we have? We have a white level right here and price made a pin bar exactly at here. So retracement of the pin bar would have been around 63 pip stop loss and it made 130. So when it made two reward you put your stop loss to break even. So this one is a break even trade. And after we don't have a trade at the next level. No candlestick formation took place there. USD Xetch. We have a railroad track and on Friday night that's our entry point and no other trade during the week so I don't count it. USD HUF. No pattern of the line, no pattern here and no breakdown of the hammer going down. So there is no trade here either. USD Mexic Mexican uh, there is no trade either. Let's look at New Zealand. New Zealand USD no trade. New Zealand CAD no trade. Sorry. Uh, let me check. I'm not sure. Actually this was a trade from Friday that you could have entered on Monday. I will count this one because it's a very nice pin bar on Friday. Redressment entry only, stop loss right here, and this is a winning trade. 1-1 one, one so far. And no other trade during the week. New Zealand CHF. Same occurs. Right here. Pin bar, so this one is a loss, so we have one loss, and after we have a doji, and the breakout of the doji is obviously a winning trade. So we have one loss, one win with three reward. 
New Zealand JPY didn't touch the level, the trend layer or anything, so we don't have a trade right here. Not JPY either. Now let's look at GBP. GBP USD, no trade, GBPCH, same. GBP CAD, that was the line for last week, and no chance to enter. So actually the trade from last week won, but I don't count it, and this week we have no trade. GBP, JPY, no trade, GBP New Zealand, Singapore, or Singapore, whatever. We don't have really a pattern touching the level, it's at the level right now, so we will see that about on Monday. If we have an opportunity to buy. <coughs> Euro, GBP. Didn't touch any level. Stay in the range all week. Same. GBP sec. Didn't touch the level. And GBP knock. Same. Then let's look at Euro. Okay, so Euro sec. Euro sec, we have a railroad track. And retracement entry would have been at 15. And it triggered, so we have a retracement entry on this one. Stop loss would have been 21 pips. And it made 70, so that's a winning trade on Eurosec. Eurozar. Same, railroad track. Touch the middle of the railroad track. Around 50, 63 pips stop loss. And it made 170, so 2 reward. It's running with two reward, I don't count it. Now, Euro knock. Euro knock, uh, we have. Let's analyze, zoom in a bit. So, what do we have? This first is Doji, didn't break out, so no entry. Then we have a pin bar right here, and retracement of the pin bar triggered and made three reward, so it's a winning trade. Euro Hong Kong. No. Ah, uh, yeah, there is a trade. So the power wa was up, we have this nice railroad track right here for me on Friday. It's a very big candle, so retrace one entry on me. This one is a losing trade, and after we have this pin bar, so it's a losing second trade. So we have two losing trades on this chart. Euro Singapore didn't touch, so no trade. Euro GPY, nothing. Euro New Zealand, nothing. Euro CHF didn't touch. Eurocad. Oh, Eurocad, we have a trade. So we have this pin bar, and the retracement entry is at the end of this pin bar. The stop loss is below right here, and it didn't trigger, and the whole week was ranging. So it made about one reward right now, and that's it. It didn't make three reward. 25 pips stop loss, and it made two. So we eventually could have been break even. That's what I did. So there is no trade on this on this one to count. Euro USD. So same. We have a pin bar very near the level right here, and I took this one. It's a losing trade. And after we are at the next level, and there is no candlestick confirmation for now. So one loss only on this chart. So next. So silver euro. Silver USD and gold no trade during the week. Singapore JPY. So Singapore JPY, we have uh, one hammer. The breakout of the hammer is a losing trade, and after that we have one pin bar right here. And the breakout of the pin bar, since it's a very little candle, you can take a breakout. It's not a big deal. I advise it actually. And this one is a winning trade, so we have one loss. And one win on Singapore GPY. Now CHF Singapore. The second candle is a very big body, so could have been taken as a as a railroad track. And the retracement entry is around right now, so there is no trade to count there. CHF GPY no trade. Cat the GPY. This was from last week, so no trade. CAD CHF. So this one. It's a very big body dodgy, didn't break out and touch the level. It uh, didn't touch the level. 
but very close. So eventually you could have taken this one, uh, but the breakout didn't trigger, so there is no trade right here. And after this one didn't made a very good pattern railroad track, so there is still no trade around here. Now let's look at odd pair. So GBP odd. Tac, tac, tac. We have some kind of a dodgy but not really qualifying one, so not really good to take. And after price broke the level, it's a thick line, so it's a monthly level of support and resistance quite strong. And after there is a 200 EMA on the 4 hour chart, and price made a dodgy at the 200 EMA, so I don't count this one, but on the 4 hour chart, you can eventually take the EMA 50. 200 and 800 and this one um, I believe made 3 reward already 50 and it made 100 no 2 reward only but either way we don't count it because it's the, the pattern is not exactly at the level so now we wait for next week the next level right here to touch and to make a pattern still a good level to buy so euro odd Nothing touch. Odd Singapore. So we have a trend line but touch at multiple times so we don't take it anymore. And we have, I believe, a very nice dodgy nearly touching the level so this one qualify. And break up. So this is a 17 pip stop loss and it made 20, 29. So it didn't make two rewards, so it's a losing trade. Odd JPY. Nothing. Odd New Zealand. No trade. Odd CHF. We can we get kind of a railroad track right here. Candle is big. Like 30 pips candle. This is, is a, a very strong candlestick. Uh, but this railroad track is not really same size, so we don't take this candle. And that's the only trade for the week on this chart. Hot cat, no trade. And finally, odd USD. Same with odd Singapore, but this one I believe made more reward. So we have a pin bar right here. And the retracement entry didn't trigger, but it made a breakout. And the breakout, we have 13 pip stop loss. And it made 30, 39 pips, so it's a 3 reward actually. And since if we take a breakout, we have 2 reward, this is a good trade. And I don't count it because it's not a 3 reward totally, so for the count, you know me, I want worst case scenario. So we are done for the swing trading strategy. We have 5 winning trade, which means 15 reward, and we have 7 losing trade. So all in all, it means 8 reward profit times 2%, it is 16% profit for the week. It's a very slow slow week, like, like last week. So now let's check the pending order. Pending order, outside the envelope, odd USD, nothing. Odd CAD, nothing. Odd CHF. We have this trade outside the envelope. And so stop loss would have been 12.5 right here plus 2, so around 15 pips stop loss and 15 45 pips reward. And it made 58, so this trade is a winning trade. Odd New Zealand didn't touch anything, odd JPY nothing, odd Singapore nothing outside the envelope, euro odd nothing outside the envelope. GBP odd. We have the monthly level confirming this is like uh, tax. So 35 plus 3, we take 10% additional for the spread. So it makes 38 and 38 times 3, so one, 120. And we have only 100 pips made as profit. And when you reach 2, two reward, you put to break even, so it's a break even trade. Now let's look at cat pairs. Outside the envelope, nothing. 
cat gpy no trade the trade was from last week actually you can count this trade no i uh, we don't count this trade because there was an fp so we just close everything but see that it win very nicely chf gpy no trade chf singapore Outside the envelope, we have this level, and the stop loss would have been 18 plus 2, around 20, 21 pips. So it made against us 25, so it's a losing trade. Now, Singapore, JPY. Outside the envelope, we don't have any level, we have the 800 EMA right here, and this one <laughs> won nicely. But uh, it's an EMA, so I don't count it. The EMA from the 4-hour chart in the swing trading strategy with confirmation are very nice. And uh, on the daily chart, if they are outside the envelope, you can take a pending order. It's not a big deal. Most of the time it win. So, gold, silver, nothing touched yet. It might touch on Monday. That's what I will wait. Okay, so Euro USD outside the envelope. No trade. Eurocad. Outside, no trade. Euro CHF, same. Euro New Zealand, same. Euro JPY, same. Euro Singapore. It's going to touch, but it might not be outside the envelope on Monday. Euro Hong Kong. No trade. Euronoc. Euronoc, we have a trade. The line was inside, actually no, we don't have trade, because the line was inside the envelope. And But the 50 EMA, as you can see, made like 570 pips. When the stop loss would have been 20, it made 2.5 reward. So it's a nice level, just outside the envelope. Yeah, but I don't count it, anyway. Euroza. Euroza, nothing outside the envelope and Eurosec. This one is a perfect trade outside the envelope and it's a huge win. It made uh, 830 pips. Stop loss would have been 70 so it's more than 41. One more win. Now let's look at GBP. GBP knock, no trade. GBP sec, no trade. GBP try, no trade. Euro GBP, no trade. GBP Singapore. No trade, GP New Zealand same, GP GPY same, uh, same for here, GBP CHF same and GBP USD same. No trade outside the envelope. See, after after the Brexit, those last months now the volatility on GBP come back to normal. So uh, no trade for New Zealand GPY, New Zealand CHF. This one was outside the envelope, so it clearly touched. Uh, stop loss would have been around 15 pips, and it made uh, tac, 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 50, 60, 70 pips, so it's a winning trade also. Next, uh, New Zealand CAD. So I will not count it because it was from last week and there was an FP. But it's really been close to the level again, and after made a huge drop down, so it's a nice winning trade. New Zealand USD, no trade. And let's go to USD pairs. Okay, USD Mexico, no. USD HUF. Outside the envelope, uh, tac, tac, tac. Eventually, eventually this one is a loss. So we have one loss right here. After that, USD Sech. No trade outside the envelope. This one, this one was in the at the envelope, so no trade either. USD Polonia, no trade outside the envelope. Sec GPY, same. USD Czar, no trade outside. USD Singapore, no trade. USD CHF, same. And USD GPY, no trade either. And USD CAD, no trade. So, for the pending order, we have 3 win times 3 rewards, so 9 reward, and we have 2 loss, so result 7 reward, 
times 2, 14%. So all in all, we have the swing trading strategy 16% for the week and the pending order 14%, so all in all 30% profit for the week. I hope you learn with my profile and um, you make money with me. Have a nice day, have a nice week, and see you next week. Bye! This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.